With me in the studio is Mark Conroy. He is a Blue Badge London tourist guide, uh, speaks several languages. He is um, a tour manager. He is an actor, a presenter, a writer, an after-dinner speaker, a continuity announcer. You are one busy, talented man. I get by. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic view of the guards and the guard change as they leave Buckingham Palace and head down to St. James's Palace in their red tunics and their Canadian bearskin hats. This is a magnificent spectacle. It's like a West End musical free of charge right in the heart of central London. There's a strange feeling when you visit. You know, there's definitely energy and power and, it, and it's such an amazing thing to think these people built this. I'm with Mark Conroy, a local historical expert who is as obsessed with this ancient stone monument as I am. I want to know why they put it there. I want to get to a truth if a truth exists. And now it's become what is the second biggest carnival in the world, apart from Rio in Brazil, and that is the Notting Hill Carnival. And uh, close to two million people attend the event every year, and it occurs during the August holiday weekend. And there's music and dancing, floats, a uh, big parade, and it goes on non-stop for 24 hours. And then everyone has to sleep for two months afterwards, they're so exhausted. Guys, you enjoying the atmosphere here tonight? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Have you been to a match at Wembley before? Isn't it amazing? Uh, the atmosphere just amazing tonight? Yeah, Absolutely. yeah. And the sunshine as well. Do you have yeah. a favourite team? Uh, Dortmund. Dortmund for you? The same. Same? Uh, yeah. Can you predict the score? What do you think it's going to be? This cheese here is named after the town where I was born, which was an old Roman town, which is about um, 30 kilometres from London. And it's called Verulamium, and you can see that just here. Um, mm. It reminds me of my childhood, and I'm sure it's going to be fantastic. Mm. It is. The plus grand clock that sounds all the time is called Big Ben. Voilà, écoutez bien. If you want to stay at the Goring Hotel this evening in the Royal Suite, that'll set you back at least £5,000. If you'd come here in 1910 when it first opened, one of the big attractions was the fact that every room had central heating and an ensuite bathroom something we sort of take for granted today. Unfortunately, couldn't get a reservation this evening, they're fully booked. Three generations ago, my family set up a haberdashery stall right here and lived above the shop. It's so good to be back here today to see the many different worlds and the great diversity of people. And say, where are you from originally? Algeria. Everybody from everywhere at this market. It is, and, and that's that's the brilliant thing about it. It seems to be a community here. Do you mix with the other market? Trainers? Oh, yeah, we do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Showtime original series, The Tudors. Showtime caught up with a Tudors expert for a tour of some of Henry's favorite sites. Many people have this impression that Henry VIII was a big, fat, old, grumpy man. And he was, but long before that, he was a young, fit, virile, athletic, energetic, renaissance man who loved music, he loved art, he loved sport. Cinq femmes étaient tuées par Jacques Léventreur, Annie Chapman, une petite victime, un prostitué, avec la gorge coupée, l'abdomen ouvert, et les entrailles, les organes sortis du corps, et mises au-dessus des épaules. Welcome to Mark Conway's virtual Beatles tour. They knew I was coming, the gates were open, this is it, the world famous Abbey Road studio. And in 1969 they decided on a cold winter's day to go and perform up on the roof. Performance of Let It Be. It stopped the traffic and people complained so the police were called. Now the Savile Road police station is only a few minutes walk from here, but it took those policemen 42 minutes to arrive. Quite clearly they were Beatles fans. Let's start the tour. Where would we begin? Where do, where do we meet? Well, what we do, we begin by taking people through the Queen's procession for the annual state opening of Parliament. So you actually uh, go into the robing room where the Queen gets ready and the puts robing on the crown. Room. The royal robing room. And that's putting on the cloak, the ermine, and uh, the imperial state crown. I don't get to wear any of that, though, do you I? You can't borrow that. Oh, shut. You'd look good in it. <laughs> <laughs> looking for 221B Baker Street. Today, this is the place you'd come to. This is where Dr. Watson came to visit the Long Bar. And here at the Long Bar, he bumped into Stanford, the gentleman who'd been a dresser under him at some bars. And reluctantly, Stanford, eventually during their conversation, agreed to introduce Dr. Watson to Sherlock Holmes as a potential flat share. It's much more comfortable to go to work in the morning au vélo, le long du canal, que de rouler en métro, en bus ou en voiture. Officially, there are at least six black ravens inside the Tower of London, because without those six, the tower could well collapse, along with the British Empire and the royal family. The BBC brings language learning to life with the help of broadband technology. A new French language campaign across television, radio and online kicks off with the BBC Two series, Excuse My French. 